Well, it's an exciting day. We've actually completed the book of Matthew. And today, we start a new book, Mark chapter one. And let me just read to you, if I may, some of the titles of what happens in this first chapter of Mark. We see that John the Baptist prepares the way. We see the baptism and the temptation of Jesus. We see Jesus calling his first disciples, casting out evil spirits, and even healing many people. But let me read to you a section that I find interesting, starting in verse 35 from the New Living Translation. Before daybreak, the next morning, Jesus got up and went out to an isolated place to pray. Later, Simon and others went out to find him. When they found him, they said, everyone is looking for you. But Jesus replied, we must go on to other towns as well, and I'll preach to them too. That is why I came. So he traveled throughout the region of Galilee, preaching in the synagogues and casting out demons. Here's what I find so interesting for today's devotional thought. Jesus had a full schedule. Lots of things were going on. He's casting out demons. He's raising up new disciples. He's being tempted by the enemy. He even has been baptized. And you know what happens? It says the next day, Long before the sun arose, Jesus arose to spend time with his father. And everyone is looking for him. It's just like the disciple says there. He says, hey, everyone's looking for you. You've got more to do. It's happening for you, Jesus. Right here in this place, God is blessing. Let's ride this wave of ministry. You've done it, you've succeeded. And you know what Jesus says? It's time to move. It's time to go on to another town. Here's what I find so interesting. Jesus, you know what? He honored the past, but he didn't live there. He lived in the present. And his priority was intimacy with his father, hearing from his father, so that when those that were around him began coming for him to give directives to him, he could say with confidence, you know, God has spoken to me. I know what I am to do. I am to go into other towns preach the gospel there. Here's my encouragement to you. No matter how full your day was yesterday, take time today to spend time with your father. Listen to him, because there's oh so many voices that would like to give you directives, suggestions, and opportunities for you to spend your time. But listen to your father. Get up, spend some time in his word, for he will speak to you today.